Ben. The election is now over. And while some people are celebrating, others are stressed. And this so-called post-election related stress might be impacting people's daily lives. Dominique O'Neill joins us in studio with more. So, Dom, you talked to some experts who shared some ways of how to cope with post-election stress. What did they tell you? Michael, something we all know is that the long marathon election season can be extremely stressful. But one therapist I talked to says people need to have something positive they can focus on to keep their minds at ease. It's been five days since the presidential election wrapped. Some voters are filled with the sense of pride and hope. I am very happy American right now with Trump winning. And I know I'll have less sleepless nights because I was worried that he might lose the election, but the American people has spoken. For others who are not happy with the outcome they wanted, it's ultimately a time of despair and disappointment. It was heartbreaking. And it just sort of like, you know, it's like somebody hit you in the head with a brick. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, it, 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 it'll take a while before I can sort of like go about my daily life. These past few months had voters of both respective political parties stressed out. And according to the American Psychological Association, close to 70 percent of Americans reported the 2024 presidential election played a major role of stress in their lives. I have no stress right now. I did when the election was going on. Whether you're happy with the outcome or still feel uneasy, it's OK to put politics to the side and be kind and smile at someone, says Shay Bankston, who is a clinical therapist and the owner of Premier Consulting Toledo. It's a behavioral health practice. And for those who are struggling, um, such as myself, I, I've, I've had a difficult, um, what, past three days, mm -hmm. um, just try to do things that can minimize some of that anxiety, uh, eating a good meal, exercising, talking about it. And we are fast approaching the holiday season, which means more potential for more stress. And Bankston says some of the other ways to manage post election stress include exercise, take a jog, and take deep breaths practice as many um, techniques that we can to de-escalate or alleviate some of that anxiety. So uh, physical exercise, uh, taking deep breaths, um, watching a movie, doing something that you personally find, um, you know, to be calming and peaceful. And eventually healing. We need to come together as one nation for all of us to survive. And everybody has to accept that Trump is now our going to be our president in January. But overall, I think we need to uh, open our eyes and we need to start to treat each other um, with much more humanity than what we have seen, you know, in past years. And Bankston also adds you should take a break from social media. Reporting in studio, Dominique O'Neill, WTO 11.